Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the second part of our, our video uh, showing how we can use FreeCAD and Blender. Design a part in FreeCAD and then uh, render it in Blender. Uh, it's a simple tutorial. We shall be using uh, rendered Pro Render as our rendering engine in Blender. So uh, this is a part uh, already designed. So what we are going to do to export it is we are going to click on the body, click file, click export. Make sure you're exporting it as a web front object. I'll leave it as example one, click save. Uh, that's it. Let's go to Blender. Under Blender, uh, go ahead and click. The, you'll have this block come in when you open Blender for the first time. Go ahead and click that and delete. Uh, select this, delete, go to file, click on import, click on web front object, go to your project folder, okay, hold on here, and then select that and select import. This comes in, you can see uh, under free card, uh, the orientation of the part doesn't look like it's oriented in Blender. Uh, what you do with that is go ahead and click on your part. Uh, under uh, the render properties, uh, under transform, you're going to see this. Change that to zero. Press enter. Uh, you, your part will be oriented the same way it's oriented in uh, free card. After you do that, click on add, click on camera. Now to create your camera view to actually uh, have your the whole part under camera view, go ahead and press Alt, Control and zero at the same time. And then it will adjust the camera view to actually cover your whole part. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize uh, our part uh, to fit the whole camera view. Click on the part, click and hold S, then drag. Uh, this should expand and fill the whole window. I'll leave it there since I'll be moving it. Let me just expand it a little bit. I think that will do. Release the S. Click on move icon. Use this, uh, these arrows to move the part either up or left so let's move it to the left and move it up it's slightly big press s again uh let's try to adjust it so it fits i'll leave it there hold let's move it again let's try to center it there i think that will do so we have the whole part in camera view we can go to our rendering screen to see if we can see the silhouette of the whole part in the camera view. So go to rendering. Uh, let's, we can do the render. Uh, we can see the silhouette of the part uh, in camera view. That will be fine. So let's go back to layout. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to click on our part. Go to uh, render properties. Uh, we're going to change our render engine uh, to render pro render uh, since i'm using an amd radeon card uh, it's much more easier for me since uh, pro render also actually have has a predefined material uh, that i can actually apply to the part so uh, select the render engine as pro render uh, go to quality change that to high Go to color management, change that to filmic, and then change the look to medium high contrast. Then uh, let's go to the next tab. Uh, nothing really much to change here. I think all looks okay. Uh, go to the next window. Let's hold on there. Nothing to change, nothing to change. 
nothing to change on those nothing you can leave these the way they are nothing much to change nothing to change on that so we can now go to uh, the material property window and uh, this is why you like a uh, pro render because it has predefined materials scroll down uh, under material library under categories uh, AMD provides uh, a, a lot of predefined materials in, into their render and pro render engine since we are dealing with metal we can click metals click on that image and it will give us samples of the metals uh, let's go ahead and click on polished copper click on copy textures to scene click on import material go to render render image and then uh, go to rendering and you should see your image there we can change this um, this materials and select a different material for example we can change this to uh, gunmetal, import, render, render material. Let's give it a second. The rendering is complete. Click on image, click on servers, uh, save it to uh, your directory uh, where you want to save your images so let's go here and i will call it go ahead and save that then we can go ahead and open it and see how it looks like and that's it designed in blender uh, designed in freecad rendered in blender and exported as an image output this is a png image you can actually zoom in and zoom out and it's a really good quality image. Thank you and bye for now.